Hello, in this OpenGL video, we are going to show you how to get time input via GLFW. Time input is the number of seconds that have passed since we initialized GLFW. So, to get it really, really simple, what I'm going to do is create a double variable called second, because that's what we get in, seconds. And for this, I'm just going to put a semicolon. Actually, I initialized it to 0, 0.0, but it doesn't really matter whether you do or don't. And now what we're going to do, inside our loop, we're going to do second equals GIFW get time. And now we're going to do STD C out seconds STD end line. So now if we run this bad boy, As you can see, we are printing out the number of seconds that have passed since GLFW initialized. So at the moment, it's about 7, 8, 9. It's coming up to 10 seconds. So let's just shut this down. So as you can see, even if, let's say, I put, I didn't initialize this, I ran it, it's still starts at 0, starts close to 0, simply because there's that's how many seconds have passed since we initialized it. But perhaps you want to explicitly set the time. You can easily do that. You can do it like in the main at the start of your application, or you can do it based on a condition. To do that, you just do glfw set time, and I'm going to put 45. So it's going to start off at 45 seconds have basically passed since initialization. That's the best way to think of it as. And as you can see, it started printing it off from 45, and it's gone quite high now. We're at what about 53, 54, 55 seconds, etc. And you can easily set the time again. You can do it multiple times, so you can reset it. You can set it to a higher value, a low value. It's all really simple stuff. So that's how you get time in seconds using GLFW. You'll probably use this for some sort of sequencing, timers, clocks, also keep making sure all the movements and animations are in sync with each other, basically to help factor in frame rate. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on our education platform, stonearlearning.co.uk for slash questions.php. There'll be a link in the description to that, plus there'll be another link in the description to the source code from this video and the source code from every other video. If you like this one, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, leave us a comment as well. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.